Hello everyone, um, I'm making this short video uh, for the sake of um, Dean who made a comment on my YouTube video um, of my Texan Hubbly Jr um, requesting a view inside at the mechanics of how it works because he's looking to also fix his trigger spring. So uh, this is my Hubbly Texan Jr that I restored. Uh, I made this little uh, holster out of a scrap piece of leather just to store it in so that's what it looks like there. Um, so just take the hammer strap off there. So what's fantastic about this gun, this American made gun, is that you can actually repair it with um because you can take it apart, which is brilliant, and I really like that. When I first bought it, um the hammer wasn't working at all, there was no spring in it, and there was actually um no screw or bolt uh, holding this section on, it was held together by a piece of string. So I did manage to search and find a suitable square nut for it. Unfortunately it's not the right colour but I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Um, you can see it works fine um, and I pretty much did have to learn how to fix it by myself and it's just Heath Robinson, a bit of trial and error um, but I'll show you what it looks like inside. So, um, so first you need to remove the grip here. I've loosened all the nuts and things up uh, to try and hopefully speed up the process here. Um, I'm very lucky um, the grip on this side, you'll notice, has a, a small nut that's actually built into the grip. So um, this grip uh, only had a very tiny little crack on it, you can see there, down the bottom left corner. And I managed to sort of glue that and fix that. It's very lucky there. And you just lift them off gently, careful not to break the little nubs at the top. And it uh, sits nicely in there. And then you'll see there's a square nut on the back. That was the original, and so I didn't have to replace that. And uh, just take that, actually, I'll take this one off next. So this one in here, um, you'll hear a little spring in a moment because there is a spring inside that one. I actually had to manufacture the, the spring inside this one myself. So can't remember the size of this bolt. I could probably add it to the comments later. Um, let's try and get that out so that comes out nice and easily. There's a little square that they see drops off later. Now, then you have the um, mechanism here to, to pry it open, but you don't really need to press that. You can hear that click there. So there was a spring already loaded in there, and I didn't have to do anything. That was the original spring there. Um, and then if I gently open this up uh, by removing this screw now, this bit comes off. Nothing will spring out, so you don't need to worry. The back little piece drops off there. Um, hopefully this magnetic -y one will pull it out. So, whoops. There you go, it's come out. Let's put that back there so I don't lose it. So, um, just gently lift this off, this part here. And you can see there's the mechanism inside. Now, this is the bit that gave me the most trouble. This spring here that's wound round a couple of times. I'll do a close up there so you can see how it fits in. Don't worry if this comes out. This You can remove it there with a little spring. That's not a problem at all. Um, it's a bit magnetic -y. There you go. Um, but this little spring here, um, I actually had to fashion that myself out of some spring steel. You can see I've wrapped it around a couple of times. And really it was getting the angle right um, to get the right tension on this mechanism here that feeds the, the caps. Um, this looks a bit crappy because there's a bit of sellotape that's uh, not so sticky on the mill. I only put that sellotape on there. There's another piece of electrical tape underneath. And what I did, uh, Dean, to fix the spring is I used several pieces of thin sprung steel, um, cut them to various lengths, and through trial and error slotted them in there and there, that length there, um, to get the right tension when you pull the trigger back. You can see it just springs like a leaf spring. Um, I only put that rubbish bit of sellotape on at the end. Um, it's not holding anything. I could probably peel that off um, and you'll see that it's... I don't even need it really. Let's, let's remove it. Um, oops, I don't want to pull the spring out. Um, it's literally just wrapped around a very strong piece of um, electrical tape in there. Um, so I don't really need that, but I'll cut that off again later. Um, 
Come on, maybe I can undo it now. It's just wrapped around. I've now got um, a different kind of um, shrink hose, I think, um, that you put on electrical tape that I could put over that, put a, a slight bit of heat on it, like um, from a lighter, and it would shrink or shrink around the, that bit of tape there. Um, let me take that off, it looks a bit rubbish now. So there you go, don't even need that. But I just use that bit of electrical tape just to keep um, all the little leaves together. So just try and do a close up, can you see? I think there are two, one, two, three tiny pieces or long thin, thin pieces of sprung steel in there. And then I made a kind of U cap like that on both ends just to hold them all together. So it's actually quite simple. Um, you didn't need, I could see that you could buy online um, a spring, um, particularly this one, I think I found it online. Um, but coming all the postage and everything to Austria was just too much. So I thought, oh, I'll have a go and try and make it myself. And it works. So, um, you know, I was happy to have a go at that. Um, so I really hope that helps you. That you can see how the inside works. It's very, very simple. Um, but the best thing is, uh, you're actually able to to make it yourself if you can find some spring steel, um, which isn't really too difficult to do. Now, where's that tiny spring bar? Just pause there while I reassemble part of the uh, gun. Won't be a moment. Okay, so found a little spring again. Reassembly. Just make sure you get the angle of this little catch in the right direction there. Um, You literally just pop that back on top. Okay. Just line up all the screw holes there nicely. Put that big screw back in there. I just hold the nut on the back and let it screw it into itself. recently had an accident and sprained three of my fingers on my right hand and they weren't bending very well so it's taken me weeks to get some flexibility back in them after they were in splints so I hope you'll forgive me for being a bit cack handed at the moment so that's all back in there and um, you can see there's a long spring here make sure that that catches inside there when you put it together and that should Snap it back into position. Yeah. Get that bolt put in there. Get that screw on the back there and screw him back in. Love these American guns. I wish I could afford to buy more of them, but you just can't get them shipped over here to the to Austria. So I'm so jealous of all you guys in America where you can pick up these little beauties for probably next to nothing in flea markets and things. But, uh, I give my eye teeth to get hold of a Nichols. Some of those there guns are beautiful. And certainly the guy um, who runs, I think, one of the online um, websites from the Nichols company was very helpful and tried to help me a lot in giving me information um, about how to put some of these guns together. But for me, it was a little bit trial and error trying to fix it, but it was also the challenge, and I was really glad I was able to try and work it out because that's half the fun of it, isn't it? Restoring something. So, there we go. It's all put back together. Everything's nice and secure, just to show it does work. Works nicely. Trigger release there, well, the, the uh, casing release, so you can put the caps in. Back in its lovely little holster that I made for it. A little trigger strap there. I'm learning how to make things out of leather as well, just for fun. So I had a go at making this. So there you go. That's how to take apart, put back together the Hubley Texan Junior um, cap gun. And I hope that helped you, Dean. Cheerio. Bye.